This is your first time touring in the US. Uh, what are you looking forward to the most? <laughs> the shows, of course. Um, meeting all the different types of people that are coming to the shows. Uh, seeing the great American landscape, uh, which we got to see quite a lot of yesterday because we were traveling from Dallas in a bus. So it was quite a lot of desert that we drove through, <laughs> which it's just like the movies and we were watching Thelma and Louise. <laughs> So you've been traveling the UK, the US. What have been the differences so In the far? The UK, you, t you tend to it tends to be dependent on the day of the week, how uh, how loud the crowd are. Because um, if it's a Sunday, say, then everyone's feeling a bit more mellow. Um, but if it's a Saturday night in the north of England, say, then it, it gets more rowdy, which I love. Um, but both types of audience are great. And then coming to the US, I've noticed, you might have heard me saying earlier, that, that the audiences can be more more vocal about their appreciation of a, of a song or a lyric or the way you sing something. And you've toured Europe, have you been to Greece yet? I haven't been to Greece. Any I, plans to? No, I'd love to, but I've just not, uh, it's just not been, it's just not come up yet, but I'd love to. There's something out there, some sort of festival or something, I'd absolutely love to. So your album, Is Your Love Big Enough, was named 2012 iTunes Album of the Year. How did you feel? Like, How excited were you when you found out about that? I was very excited. I was extremely surprised. Um, because, you know, so many albums came out last year, but I, I was just really, really happy. Your mother's Jamaican and your father is Greek, and he also happens to be an accomplished instrumentalist. How much influence did they have on your music? Um, it's, uh, I mean, I've n I'd never thought about it really until people started asking me about it, but uh, well, looking back, it's probably quite a lot of influence they had because my, my mum was the kind of, she was my taste maker, I suppose. She she introduced me to the music of of um, various artists that I still love now, such as Lauren Hill and Jill Scott and Mary J. Blige, amongst many others. Um, and my father was was as you said, he's a he's a musician, um, but he always emphasised the importance of of making music only because it makes you happy. And just getting joy out of that. So he still believes that, and I and I and I have taken that on as well. He's he's not like a professional musician, but he just loves playing and he loves the sound of music. And it was more that he play, he taught me stuff on the piano and the guitar, and I he showed me the first things that I learnt on the guitar, and it was very late on. And I he probably would have preferred if I'd decided to learn the guitar earlier, but. Um, <laughs> But he was, as soon as I said to him, I want to learn guitar, he was completely so encouraging and um, just showed me everything he knew. Um, and he used to just, like when we would hang out, he would just play music to me, essentially. He'd play all kinds of things, the accordion, the harmonica, the guitar, you know, the lute, whatever he could find, <laughs> the saxophone. Um, so that is kind of the basis mainly of, of my friendship almost with my dad is, is just revolving around playing music to each other and jamming. last name at least is Vlahavis yeah. and you derived Lahavis from that was that like a professional decision how did you come up with that well my original my actual name is Barnes Leanne Barnes which is my mother's name 
Um, but because my dad was kind of the main, for me, the kind of the main musical influence in my life, I wanted to kind of nod to him with whichever stage name I chose. And I always loved his name. Um, so I just thought maybe if I drop the V, um, it might just sound a bit more uh, like more alliteration. So I, I, that's where it comes from, basically. I recently read in an interview that you had dreamt of opening up a restaurant with an infused Greek and Jamaican cuisine. Do you have like a favorite Greek dish? I do, I do. It's uh, spanakopita. Ah, oh, you do? Yeah, <laughs> my grandmother used to make it and she used to do the big one mm -hmm. with uh, spinach and the feta and the phyllo. Um, and then I had it recently made by a Turkish woman and she put sesame seeds on top of, of it, the whole thing and made small ones. So there's so many variations you can do, but it's my favorite. It's always a winner and it's healthy. What's next for you after this? Um, after this, well, I ideally would like to start work on my new album uh, or on a new album or just music collaborating with people that I have met along the way uh, that I love. Well, there's this guy called Ben Ash, mm -hmm. but his producer name is Two Inch Punch. And I love him. He's just like, I don't know, his point of view is just is like something I've never heard before that that strangely I feel very connected to so I'd love to try working with him so I'm just gonna see really lots of people to me and to try things out with but mainly I'm just gonna write some songs myself and then see who I want to record them with and where do you know any Greek words <laughs> I know a very very limited amount of Greek <laughs> but I do know uh, how to say spiti oh, nice. and uh, eno tio tria tesera pende <laughs> Exactly. And you know Spanakopita? <laughs> exactly, and Keptedes, uh, oh, nice. and Dolmades. <laughs> and I know how to say Efharisto, <laughs> which is important.